Hey guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you a little bit of my birthday highlights. Some new Tretinoin that I'm using and some gifts that I got. As a lot of you know, my birthday was this past Valentine's Day, February 14th, and I turned 65. And I kept thinking about, you know, what have I learned in 65 years? And I kept thinking, I've learned an awful lot in 65 years. And I've learned too much to actually try to even talk to anyone about it in a video because it'd probably be very boring. But I think ultimately, at the end of the day, at the end of the game, if you want to call it that, 65 years of living, I have really learned to treasure every moment I have with my loved ones. I, it's true because you don't know, you don't know when that last moment will be. You don't know if that last moment is going to be when your loved one drives off to go to work. You don't know what's going to happen overnight. And the last thing I want to do is have regrets and say, I should have wished I could have, I, you know, all of that. And yes, everyone is going to have some regrets in their lives for sure. And everyone's going to have moments when they say, oh, wow, I should have done it this way. But overall, at the end of the day, what matters is the people that you love, that you've spent time with, that you've shared things with, the people in your life that have helped you, that it has enriched you by loving you back. That's what really matters at the end of the day. YouTube is a wonderful outlet for me. I enjoy every moment of my YouTube time. I enjoy sharing things that I've got, things that I'm thinking about, things that I'm doing. I enjoy all of that. And if I didn't, I wouldn't be here with you in a video week after week after week. And I know sometimes my videos can be really long and rambling, but 65 years, I can remember when I was 15 and I thought 30 was old. I thought, you know, 30 was, it was ancient. And now here I am, 65, and I'm like going, wow. How did that happen and where have the years gone? How did that happen and where have the years gone? It's like, it's, it's something we all, we all ask. And I can truthfully say that while my 65th birthday might have been extremely low key, it was really a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Valentine's Day is always tough. It's tough for us to get reservations because every place is booked. It's, it's just really sometimes a tough holiday to go out and celebrate a birthday. It's the day of lovers. So this year on my birthday, Jay and I went out with my mom and dad, which we do almost every, every year. We go out with my mom and dad. Sometimes my children can join us. Sometimes my sister joins us sometimes her husband if he's home but we kind of go out for a family dinner and we did it this year we stayed somewhere local and we just enjoyed each other's company i think it was like amazing to me that i was home maybe a half hour after my birthday i had all these plans for the weekend i figured oh you know we're going to do this we're going to do that and about 30 minutes after arriving home after dropping mom and dad off i got violently sick to this day, I don't know if I got a case of food poisoning. I don't know whether it was I got a bug, uh, but I got violently, violently sick. I was sick all the night of my birthday. I was sick all of that next Saturday. I got a little bit better on Sunday, but then I had a slight re relapse. So it was like, it was like just a really not a good way to celebrate a birthday, but I still enjoyed myself. I still had some great, great, I got some wonderful gifts. I had been wanting an adapter for my camera. I have a Canon M50, and uh, this is my vlogging camera, and I'm also recording with a Canon, a bigger Canon. But this is my vlogging camera, and I had wanted an adapter to put a wider angle lens on, and so I got the adapter. It was my birthday present. I had, had ordered it, and it arrived before my birthday, and you screw this on, and you have the lens. That made me really happy, so when I'm doing, if I'm going to ever get back to doing the vlogging, and I'm like this, I have the wide angle. I don't have to worry about really stretching my arm out. I can actually hold it pretty close, and the wide angle adapter will be on here, and it'll be 
it'll be really cool. So I've been wanting that adapter. I just haven't wanted to spend the money on it, but I did. I got that for my birthday. So that was like a really wonderful, wonderful birthday present. One of the other birthday presents, and I had talked about this, has actually arrived a little bit earlier, and I actually am wearing it on my eyes today. I've worn it on, I've worn this palette on my eyes since I got this, um, more, more often than not. I received a PR pack, package from Pixie, and they had two palettes, one that I used and one that I haven't touched. So they had two palettes in there, and I was using that one. I used that a couple of days, but then I went right back to this one. And this is the Hootie Beauty Mob Obsessions. And I'm telling you guys, if you if you like, you know, something that's easy to blend that doesn't make a mess all over your face and you like softer colors that you can build up like me, I was really surprised at how much I like this. Now, prior to this palette, it's the first time I've ever had a Huda palette. And this one, I'm going to try to cover up my hands a little bit. Um, prior to having this, my my all-time favorite palette has been my uh, Viseart Amethyst palette. It still is. I love the colors in there. I love everything about that palette. But I have been wanting something that I could create more of a smokier eye look. And the brown shade in the Amethyst palette kind of always made me feel more like a baby poop color. And if that's the wrong way to say it, probably. I didn't really like that brown shade. These, these, um, this one has a nice, nice brown shade, and I really like it a lot. So I have been wearing this palette oh, a, a very, very, um, almost every day, often. I really, really like it. And this was a birthday gift from Sheila. And thank you so much, Sheila. It was just an awesome gift to get. I also got a gift from a subscriber. I'm not going to name... I always feel funny because I don't know if people really want to be named or not, but I got a gift from a subscriber and it came in right at my birthday. I considered it a birthday gift. She really didn't. I think she just considered it a gift, but it was a tretinoin cream and it was the 1%, which comes in super handy because I'm on my last tube of tretinoin and this has oh, the expiration dates like I don't know a year and a half out so I have plenty of time for this but this is an open sealed tretinoin cream 1% it's the cream as opposed to the gel that I have so I received that and that was like an awesome awesome gift thank you so much I truly truly appreciate it the other gift that I got was actually from my sister and uh, she had given me an Ulta gift card and she had also given me a Hydroquinone 4% Tretinoin 0.5%. This stuff, I'm going to insert a screenshot here. This stuff, I don't really know what this goes for in the States, to be honest with you. But this stuff is really awesome. So what I've been doing is I have a dark, sort of an age spot on the side of my face and over here on the corner of my eye and also on my hands. You know, I don't, I don't know if the camera's going to pick up, but I have like this spot right here, that, and a couple of small ones. So my plan is to use this, this Technoian with the hydroquinone in it on these spots and on my hands and see how, how it does. The, I've used it probably, gosh, I don't know how many times already, but I tell you the peel action is unbelievable so I'm really excited to give this a try on those brown spots so it says it's um, you know if you read the you know the directions and all that it's it is something that will work on your your brown spots and your melasma and stuff of that nature so I'm really super excited about trying that and then I also got in, this is from Marlene Fab and Glam. I don't know if you know Marlene, that sexy redhead. I'll probably get demonetized. But she sent me a whole box of goodies. I was like, unbelievable. I, I couldn't believe it. I love the box that came in. Take a look at the little lips. <laughs> Anyways, she sent me a palette. No, she sent me samples and lipsticks and, you know, other things that are not just samples. But she sent me a, a VCR palette. And this one is the nuts. So, 
for and she said to me I could return it and get something else because she thought that maybe the colors might be too dark and when I first looked at it I said hmm they are a little dark but I absolutely love all of the shades in here now I've played with it a little bit and it builds really nice it is really blendable the darks are dark so it does take some oh you're not gonna be able to see it it does take some getting used to and some blending for me but I took a little brush and I just popped the outer corner of my eyes and I was able to darken it beautifully so I was absolutely thrilled when I opened that up and I said, wow, you know, I couldn't believe she did that. She also sent me an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero and a number of other things. But the things that I really liked was the Marc Jacobs. She sent a bunch of little lippies, the Marc Jacobs. And when I say I really liked them, I really liked everything, but I'd never tried these before. So this was really cool. I had some face masks, and everyone knows I'm a real face mask fanatic. There's nothing as relaxing as just putting on a sheet mask for me. And Purity, Made Simple, Philosophy, little sample of that. Julep, Love Your Bare Face. And aside from the Ulta pencil, and she gave me Sydney Grace. This is just a little tiny pop of color. So this is Pink of Perfection. Put a little dab here. Just a little dot of color on your eyes. Pink of Perfection. And this is eye cream. Lip, you know, shadow cream. So this is really cool. I really, really like that a lot. I was like, whoa. And she also put in here a Hangover RX primer. So I'm like, whoa. I'm going to try this primer out. You know, I've been on a primer hunt. I've used many different primers. I'm going to have to do a video and update everyone on the primers because I've used so many of them. It's amazing. So that was like a super awesome, awesome box, a gift. I got all oh, the palettes, the Huda palette, the, the Viseart, Viseart. How do you say that? Viseart, Viseart. Viseart, Viseart. I absolutely love it. I think these are just really awesome. So my new favorite palettes, yes. And now I have an eye, my eye on one of the other new um, Lazy Art palettes that came out. Was it Liaison? Liaison? That looked pretty good. But I think the colors look very similar to the Amethyst, except there's a few more choices. And I'm thinking that would be, um, that would be really nice. I think I would like that. I think I would like that. And I'm wearing my Henry Margot Hayden wig. This is the lighter color one. I have been wearing in some of the other videos, I've been wearing the Raquel Welch, and I really like it, the Flirt Alert, and I've also been wearing, I have two Hayden wigs. I have, this is the lighter shade, and then I have the darker one, and that's the one I'm wearing tonight. Um, I really love the wigs, you know. I, I'm like really happy with the fact that if a wig is like when you get it out of the box, if it's too shiny, you can do something to curb the shine if you want. I love the fact that they're so easy to take care of. They're so versatile and that your hair, you can have a good hair day even when you're having a crappy hair day. And I have lots of crappy hair days in real life. So not only did Jay get me the adapter for the camera, he also bought me some luggage. So I have two new pieces of luggage. I'm going to insert a photo here so you can see them because we are going on a trip. We have a trip coming up to Las Vegas and the Grand Canyon for two days before we go to Vegas. And that's coming up really quick. So I'm super excited about that. And my mom and dad, they got me some money. And so, you know, which is what they always do, which I'm going to bank and save for a big trip that we're doing next summer. We're taking a really big trip next summer. And I, you know, I don't like to rush time. I really don't, but I can't wait for that trip. <laughs> I can't wait for that trip. So, but for the rest of this year, this luggage is going to come in handy. We have Las Vegas, and then we have a trip this fall. And I may have a conference that I'm going to have to do in Tennessee. I'm not sure yet, but that may be on the books also for the summertime, but we'll see. So, I just wanted to share all that with you. Thankfully, I am feeling so much better after being sick that... Um, yeah, that, that was really awful, whatever I had. Flu, bug, whatever it was, it was really awful. So I'm so glad that it is over with, whatever. So 
<laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you all have a great day and thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time with me. Now, go hug a loved one or go tell someone you love them or reach out to somebody. You know, buy that stranger a cup of coffee behind you and Dunkin' Donuts. Or maybe the person in line in front of you buying their grocery. I don't know. There are people all around us that are hurting and I think sometimes we're oblivious to seeing the pain in people. I'm sad. Now I'm being melancholy, colony, melancholy, men, melon. Oh well, anyways, never mind. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.